wanted to just chat for a second about who's in your circle and, you know, who is it that you're associating with and what does that mean? We'll talk about that after the intro. Welcome to my journey of self-discovery, life balance, career success, and business creation. This podcast works to answer the question of how successful professionals like us stop drifting and get focused on keeping our careers and businesses growing rapidly while having a full, balanced, and vibrant life that we absolutely love, what we call the Third Power Life. And this is the Third Power Life Podcast. So I've often heard it said that uh, you become like the five people that you hang around most, you know, whether it's income, whether it's, you know, sense of honor, whether it's, you know, the positives, the negatives, right? <clears throat> it's one of the reasons why, you know, I'm so forceful with my children. You know, I've got two teenage boys still in the house and I'm very fervent with them about who your friends are matters, right? All right. So one of my favorite things is Jim Rohn has some questions that you need to ask about the people that you're hanging around with, right? And the first question is, who were you around, right? Think about that. You know, who are you spending time with? Who is influencing you on a daily basis, on a regular basis, right? Um, you know, who are you spending time with? That's kind of the first level. The next is, what are they doing to you? What are those influences, right? You know, are you picking up speech mannerisms? Are you picking up, you know, political philosophies? Are you picking up, you know, money making up? philosophy. So, you know, what are, what are they doing to you? And the last and most important question, is that okay? <laughs> right. And, you know, it's a, it's a tough thing because so many times we're in, you know, relationships, whether it's familial, right. Whether it's your, your family, whether it's friends, coworkers, right. Um, you know, who are you around? What are they doing to you? And is that okay? And then based on that, should you be spending more time or less time with them? Right. And that some of the times that can be challenging, as I said, you know, if it's family or coworkers, you may not have a lot of control about, you know, how much time, right. Um, it, can, it can be challenging to distance yourself from that, but I'm here to tell you that, Sometimes you need to do it. You need to figure out a way to either minimize the amount of contact or, right, or more. Sometimes it, you need to have, you know what? I need to have more contact with them, right? And this goes for, you know, this is really focused around who's on your inner circle, right? But I would say the same rules apply to the other sources of information heading into you. You know, what social media platforms am I on? What is it doing to me? And is that okay? What news do I watch? What is it doing to me? Is that okay? Do I need to watch the news? Right? I I don't watch the news at all, really. Yeah, I, I will keep up to date with the you know the the major happenings just you know, my, the homepage, when I bring up my browser has today's top stories. Um, and usually when I do look at those, I feel icky, right? So I don't, I don't consume news. It, it just, something major happens. I will find out, right? But what are you putting into your brain? What is your circle of friends doing to you? It's so one of the funny thing, you know, I talked to my kids I don't do horror films. I don't like horror movies, that kind of thing. Um, and the primary reason is what, once something goes into your mind, you can't get it out, right? It's not like you can say, oh, you know, we've all had those things where we've seen it. We really, really wish we hadn't, right? <laughs> but it's there. Can't unsee that, right? We've all heard that phrase. You can't unsee that. And so it's the same for, that's why I don't do horror films. I, I, 
I want to be able to walk in the dark without any anxiety. Um, right. So it's the same for movies. It's the same for books. It's the same for your friends. It's the same for your news, your social media, your, all of the information coming into your mind, into your world. Be very selective about that. Right. And especially as the topic of, of today's podcast is your relationships, because those affect those go deeper than just the information that you're you're bringing in, because we are social animals. We just are. We have a natural desire to fit in, to be tribe, to be community. Right. And so we will unconsciously become like the people were around, right? You know, and even, you know, physically, physical changes happen based on your tribe, right? You know, the, the fact that, um, you know, anytime you get a group of, of women together, like in a workspace or, or family, you know, people come to live together or whatever, eventually their cycles will sync up, right? It's a physic, physical body changes based on the community, right? And that's powerful. You know, so if you want to, you know, have a great life, right? And, you know, I, I talk a lot about, you know, have, being successful and having goals and all of that. And, and I want you to understand that, you know, you don't have to have rich friends, right? Because you want to be rich, right? What you need are people that you want to have a life like, right? You know, I have friends that are, you know, not socioeconomically in the same, you know, or, or where I want to go necessarily. But let me tell you, they have relationships with their children that I am in awe of, right? And they are honest to a fault. Right. That, you know, they they have more riches. Without the material component than anyone I know. Right. That for me, that's incredible. I want that in my world. I want more of that. Right. You know, do I have, you know, successful what what society would normally deem successful friends also? Sure. Yeah. You know, I have, you know, my mentors and people that I want to be around to help me take me towards that aspect of life. And so I guess what I, what it really boils down to is to be very, very selective of what you allow into your world, because what you allow into your world multiplies. So good people good news you know good experiences in the world good data right? yeah limit social media limit the the news limit things that are negative and you know and ask yourself the three questions right who are you around what are they doing to you and is that okay? Apply that to people. Apply it to all of your data feeds. Apply it to everything. Who are you around? What are they doing to you? And is that okay? And those questions can truly have a grand impact on if you're living your life to the third power. Till tomorrow, my friends. Thank you for listening to the Third Power Life podcast. Before you go, one quick question for you. Where are you on the path of life? Are you just drifting through your life? Are you fully in command somewhere in between? Well, you can find out where you are now by taking my new commander survey. It will tell you where you are on your growth journey and how to move yourself to the next level. You can find the link on the screen or in the show notes. Now, all I want to know now is, where do you stand?